Hello brothers and sisters, this is Misha Koech and in the previous video uh, where we did the installation of VirtualBox and uh, install, uh, created a virtual machine which currently you're looking on it uh, on the screen uh, so this is a virtual machine as you can see I can move it around I promised you that I'll show you how to you know make this one into full screen because some people find it it's very small at least mine is bigger and sometimes also it's kind of disturbing like you need to ha you feel like having it as a full screen all right so what we'll do in this video is to set this machine to full screen so to do that you're supposed to go to the tabs here and click devices and proceed to install guest additions cd image all right because right now if we try to customize the size we are not in a position to do so but if we install this uh, guest additions we will be in a position to do that so you so i click in the corner and then we will have a file that will allow us to install just click it and um, so that once it we reboot the machine we will have um i hope you're looking at what i'm doing so once we reboot the machine we'll have a full screen or we will have the, the ability to make this one into full screen so click next next as usual next install and you know wait for it it will not take long to finish okay click install if you get any installs there or any pop-ups just click next or install and agree with the terms and everything that's how to install a software in simple terms you know okay when you get to this position it will ask you to reboot now or you want to manually reboot later so because you are setting this up just click finish and select this box it will restart the machine so if you're using the machine make sure you have saved everything uh, that you're doing here because it will restart okay or you can choose to say i will manually reboot later and then you know close your stuff and finish your stuff and then restart the machine all right so for me we're just doing this so I'm gonna go and finish and it's going to restart and after that we'll be in a position to choose whatever screen size we want to so after restarting you might be wondering why is the screen still the same size I'll explain to you in a moment so let's go to my desktop first of all okay we're in the desktop and before you install guest addition you're not in a position to have a screen this size so you can see after I chose my desktop, it just refreshed and became a full screen. So there's no difference with using it. You'll just feel like you're using a, a, a computer. But if you want to change the screen size to whatever size you think about it, so just right click it and go to, um, just a minute, screen resolution. And in the screen resolution, you can see this drop down. It will allow you to choose different sizes of the screen. Depending on the computer size uh, you're using, this one will could show different types. For example, if you have a very big screen, then you will have additional stuff here. If you have a smaller screen, you might not even in the first place have this 1366 by 663. Anyways, um, thank you for watching this video. And I hope you now know how to change the screen into full screen. It happens. It works with any operating system um, and as long as you install guest 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 additions and that is in Windows operating system be it Windows 7 Windows 8 or anything and so on and so forth don't forget to subscribe like and share the video and see you another time goodbye